so um, my name is Jacob Nugin, and um, who loves cars? Um, <laughs> cool. So um, my car, uh, my um, cul my car, my culture is the car culture, and um, it's it's pretty big in LA. Um, for me, it, it's a big deal because. Um, I think I've been bit by the um, car bug, and this is a car right here. Um, um, it, I think the car culture has like come up to me, or has been brought forward to me by my dad because he has like a, a small collection of cars, and they vary from his like first car that um, he got when he was like 16, and his 69 Chevy Chevelle, and I think um, that like has been brought forward to me. And, and through that, um, I, I'm, I want to pursue automotive design. And um, I think um, by learning about cars, you guys will be able to uh, understand like the car culture today and like the car culture of LA because um, we live in a, a city where like car, for people, cars are just not a way of life. I mean, they're not a way of like transportation, but they're a way of life. And they bring forward a, a hidden art or like um, a love of, of people and machine that like is brought forward, like combined and is an art form. And like, I don't think people today like understand that. I think people like earlier on, they, um, they understood that. And um, my points that I'm going to be talking about today are, I'm going to be talking about how um, like cars are, um, how cars reflect the car culture and how I'm related to the car culture. So today um, in the car culture, um, saying car culture is like a broad form. It, in, inside that, um, inside those words are many like variations of different like, in like different cultures in it. Varying from like um, rat rods to like trucks to like trophy trucks, lifted trucks, hot rods, BMWs, and like inside like those are like examples of the car cultures today and inside those are like different variations of like culture. So like for me, I, I'm in like the MFS group or culture and that's like a part of the BMW culture. And um, how I relate to the car culture is through that and how uh, for me, it's not only about going to these car shows or going to these meets, it's by like owning a certain vehicle and like just going and like enjoying time with different people. And for me, I have a 2010 335i. Uh, I like go to car shows with like my friends and we go to the track and we race and uh, every year they have a run to Vegas. So we drive to Vegas and then they have like quarter mile times and like uh, we go on the track there. And so it's not only like, it's the car, the car culture by saying car culture is, 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 is a broad term and through that I'm, Trying to bring forward like a specific idea of how I like how I relate to it, and so um, by learning about cars, you'll get a better understanding. Uh, in conclusion, uh, by learning about cars, you guys will be able to get a better understanding of how um, car culture, the car culture here is in today, and how I'm related to it. And um, a memorable closer would be that. Um, a few months back, when I was first walking to my uh, automotive design class, um, I was walking in from the like from my left eye. When I was walking in, I, I heard like a nice exhaust sound, and I looked left, and then I saw this E30 M3. Most of you guys might not know this, but it's the first M3 ever made. And um, so I was walking to class, and I looked at my time. I, I really wanted to approach this uh, this guy and ask him about his car because it looked really nice, you know. So um, I, I couldn't do that because I was running to class and I didn't want to be late. And so my professor wasn't there yet and so I was just sitting in class and this guy walked in and I was like, was that your E30 M3? And he was like, yeah. And so um, we, I started asking him questions about it and uh, like later on we understood that we were at some of the same car shows together at some of the same MFS car shows and we just never met. And then uh, later on, I asked his name, and his name is Autumn, and my name is Jacob, and we both understood that we're both Armenian, and so that brought us closer together as well. And um, during uh, during lunchtime on our lunch break at Art Center, 
um, we basically we went to lunch together and I felt like we've known each other forever. It, it was a close bond. So uh, the point that I'm trying to make overall is that cars are just not, they're just not cars and they're more of an art form and a way of life and how people uh, perceive others. Like for me, when I meet someone like, it's kind of weird, you know, but I asked him like, what car do you have? Like I asked him and he was like, he has a, he has a cool vintage car and I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what I was trying to bring forward. Thank you. Thank you.